Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. Osmanthus wine tastes the but same. But where are those who share the memory? Okay. Let's go achieve the story from all yesterday. Uh, I'm not on the pass. That was it. Oh, where is it? Every journey has uh, a final day. 6 a.m. Okay, now... Uh, all the way there. Uh, yes, we were interrogating them, torturing them, probably. Hey, Dia! Right on time. Did you learn anything from the criminals? <laughs> we'll know any moment now. paimon has been wondering. You seem to know Candace pretty well. Have you been friends for a long time? We've known each other for some time now. She's a pretty interesting person. Even though she's an extremely strong warrior, she never misuses her powers against others. Oh, Paimon knows what you mean. Like a lot of martial artists say, never take the fight outside the ring. Yep, I, I guess you that. can put it that way. It takes strong convictions to be as dedicated as she is and shoulder that kind of responsibility. Hmm. Us mercs, on the other hand, we pretty much live from one day to the next. Well, Paimon you're great too. Really? Thanks for that. Oh, Sino's here! And he's pretty early too. Yes. I was here yesterday to help out a little. To help out? By doing what? Come on. Sharing some interrogation techniques. Oh! Um, you mean you taught Candace some more persuasive methods? Right. Come on in, everyone. Come on, let's go inside. Candace, where? Whoa, you look furious. Do I? Huh. What gave it away? Oh, there's no mask that can hide true bloodlust. Cover up your eyes, and it'll still show itself at the corners of your mouth. No, they don't have that many expressions. Perhaps I need to work on my composure. Still. It's perfectly understandable why I'm angry. I'm sure everyone present would agree. Uh, yes, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Please, don't beat us anymore. <laughs> We're gonna die. You're always steady. You well, don't seem looks hard. like Shino taught her well. <laughs> she mastered it really quickly, too. Now she's just a terrifying ease. I don't know, wasn't she already torturing them You before? fear death yourselves, yet you do not hesitate to place the lives of others at risk. <laughs> the absurdity is mind-boggling. The ones you call mad scholars are known to us as the village keepers. They are vital members of our community, and some even count them as family. You come here, to my village, and you treat my people as nothing more than stepping stones towards your goal. 
Tell me, what would you do to you in my position? Uh, mercy! Please have mercy! You've made your bed. We may both be desert dwellers, but there is one thing that I understand better than you. The resurrection of the Scarlet King will only result in war. And war serves no one. The people of Aru Village care little about which god is in power. Life may be tough and tiring, but we wish to preserve our way of life. A war would only cause us to lose all that we have. And that is not a responsibility that you can afford to shoulder. Uh, we understand. We're sorry! I'll tell you everything I know. Please, just let us go. He hasn't told them yet? I'm listening. Uh, you might not believe this, but it wasn't us who came up with this idea. Someone was spreading rumors in the tavern. That's how we ended up hearing about the Scarlet King's resurrection. Some mystery man told us that mad scholars will make the perfect sacrifice to usher in the Scarlet King's resurrection. They give their lives, and we can get anything we wish for. They're called village keepers. Slip up again, and you'll regret it. Uh, yes, sorry! It was all that mystery man's doing. He told us to spread word about the Scarlet King's resurrection and talked us into helping him. In return, he said he'll help facilitate the resurrection process. Mm -hmm. Where are the village keepers now? I'm not sure. That's one. Um, I don't think that was sleep up, he just... Huh? One what? Strike. <laughs> you get a total of three. Then, you die by my hand. Wait, I'm telling the truth. We don't know anything. It was all him. <sighs> Two. He got us to lure them out of their houses in the night with some kind of incense. We take them to a junction outside the village. Then the mystery guy takes them from there. <sighs> you gotta believe me, please. I'm telling the truth, I swear. Just ask them if you don't believe me. That was indeed the truth. Traveler, go on. Hmm, do you have any idea who that mysterious person might be? You have to believe me. Some if I knew that, I would have told nice. you his name right away. I'm not risking another beating to keep his secrets. No way. He, um, that guy, he wears a cloak, and he's always careful to cover his face. Uh, he calls himself the Scarlet King's envoy. I believe I may know what's going on. Uncle Anpu? What do you mean? <laughs> Smooth. Okay, speak. If my suspicions are correct, this mystery man they speak of could be from the Academia. No shit. Seriously. Hmm. Some time ago, people from the Academia attempted to take the Village Keepers away. I refused, insisting that they are part of our community. It strikes me now that this secretive character shares the same goal they had. Which means it's highly likely that the Academia was purposely spreading a false rumor to trick the Radicals into delivering the Village Keepers right into their hands. <laughs> They were the ones who brought them here to begin with. Now they're trying to take them back? We aren't going to let that happen. Not the Academia again. In Summer City, Ceteria also mentioned. I think Death Threat's Resurrection is just the Academia's misinformation campaign. Just as I thought. But what could they want with the Village Keepers? People are nothing but tools in the eyes of the Academia. A change in their plans likely means they found another way to exploit the Scholars. <sighs> With that many Scholars, I 
Joseph Arab seems to be the bad guys. But should I have some try to study their madness Regardless, and courage? Our top priority now is locating the village keepers. You're right. Isak is still waiting for news on his grandpa. Time to go. Let's leave the village and try to track them down. Yes. Pack up and get ready to leave. You got it. Candace, I'll let you deal with the radicals. Leave everything outside the village to us. All right. Let's meet back here once everyone's ready. What scheme is the Academia brewing now? You look worried. Thinking about the village keepers? Yes. I'd look for them myself if I could. As members of our village, each one of them is very important to me. You have a strong sense of belonging here. I guess I'm the opposite. Mercs are stray dogs, wherever they go. Dia, don't say that. You can be a part of this community, too. <laughs> Thanks. I'll let you know when I feel like joining. <sighs> I just hope everyone's all right. <laughs> oh, he's back. Let's get some food in us, and then we'll. Woo! He was already there. We were well, as you can see, I am merely sitting here and reviewing what we have deduced thus far. We? You were gone for ages, and now you're suddenly sitting here musing to yourself? Where have you been anyway? Ages? Has been like a day. Hey, what's with the silence? You never think things through before asking questions. I'm giving you some time to make up for that. Uh, uh, Paimon's so mad! Paimon's gonna give you an ugly nickname! Go ahead. Uh, um, uh, never mind. Paimon's got nothing. There's just nothing super obvious to pick with this guy. It makes it so hard. Well, you've heard nothing to suggest I left this whole time. So clearly, I stayed in the village to investigate. Anyway, you plan to leave Aru village and keep searching for the truth of this matter, yes? <sighs> yep. We're not gonna find out anything more by staying here, so we thought that we might as well take the search elsewhere. <sighs> Enough with the silent treatment! Maybe he's giving us that just thing? No. I'm just surprised that you decided to team up with him. All Haytham, you haven't helped us out at all ever since we arrived at Aru Village. Bold of you to question our choices. That's true. Oh, but it seems like he did something on his own. Yeah, you're all talk! We just haven't shared it yet. While you were investigating, I had my own work to do, which I've now finished. To be honest, we aren't really a team, so I have no obligation to inform you of my whereabouts. Not to mention that going separate ways allowed me to find some important information that you all had missed. Huh? Right here in the village? Correct. What did you learn? I'm going to take you to someone. But before that, you need to understand where she's coming from. What does that mean? How do you think the residents of Aru Village feel about what we're doing? Um, right now, weren't we helping because they asked us to? 
I was kind of stood and the boy. In other words, do you truly believe every single word the villagers tell us? You mean no, some of them lied to us? Hiding the truth does not necessarily equate to lying. Again, these people have their reasons. Remember what Gandis said? Most people in Aru village don't necessarily care which deity is in charge of Sumeru. That's because whether the Scarlet King or the Dendro Archon has power is of little significance to them. By contrast, the perils of their daily lives are ever-present concerns. They won't simply share everything they know with you without good reason. That's why you believed there was no further information to be found in this village. So you're saying we can find new info from someone we've already spoken to. Glad you're following along. Among those you have talked to, there's someone who was consciously keeping you out of the loop. In fact, she's been observing your every move since you arrived. The reason being, to someone who only wants to live their life in peace, any external factors introduce unpredictability into the equation. <gasps> those eyes, those fierce eyes, you, you look like a real fighter. Don't change the subject. Yeah, okay, it wasn't great to bring him along. It's quite obvious that she's intimidated by Sino's authority and strength. R right, you were asking about the vi I mean, the mad scholars. She corrected herself mid-sentence because she's aware that there are Scarlet King fanatics in the village. If she sounds too friendly towards the village keepers, she could easily make herself the radical's next target. I think it's been a few days since I last saw them. I usually go to bed pretty early, so I'm not too familiar with what goes on at night. Remember? She made a point of denying her involvement in anything that occurs at night. But honestly, I feel quite sympathetic towards them. Even though they act a little strange, they've helped me in the past. If it weren't for them, my house would have collapsed long ago. After speaking to the village chief, it became clear that the village keepers had protected Aru village at night. In other words, the young miss was very much awake during that time. Then why would she lie? By getting involved with an outsider, she risks drawing unwanted attention to herself. As for why she might be so wary about all this, <laughs> maybe you should ask her. I'll pass on this one. You said that she is afraid of me. If so, it's best if I stay out of this. We're on it! Okay, God has an update and spoken to her. That work he did on his own. That was last night. Way. At the beginning of our investigation. Miss Shawnee, uh, as we discussed earlier, I've brought someone with me. It did. <laughs> Mr. Alhatham, I'm aware of where you stand, but how can I make sure that your friends think the same as you? Huh? What do you mean? We need to clarify our stance or something? Go ahead and talk to her. You'll get the answers you want. Go on. Earn her trust. Is it really that simple? Come on. Uh, may I call you Traveler? Sure thing. Hi. Uh, hi, Traveler. I want to ask you something. Do you think the resurrection of the Scarlet King can truly change Sumeru for the better? No. Why is that? Because you want to result in conflict. Mm, that's very similar to what Miss Candace says. I know you two are friends. That's why I'm willing to talk to you, even though I do have some reservations. Before, I wouldn't even have the courage to ask something like this. Traveler, do you believe our lives will get better? I can't promise anything, but I'll do the best I can. Yeah! We came here 
far from another nation, so it isn't wrong of you to be weary. And we aren't really residents of any one nation. But even so, we've met lots of people from different places, and we've always fought for what we believed in. We have friends in Sumeru, and we want to help them. That's why we decided to stay here for a while. I want to trust you. My apologies for posing my questions like that. To be honest, I didn't expect you to come back for more information. Oh, hey, them told us you have your reasons. It's okay. We understand. The fact is that I'm... Only one side of my family is desert folk. I don't really fit in anywhere in Sumeru. Some believe in the Dendro Archon, while others believe in the Scarlet King. I don't belong to either side, and neither side would want me. Speaking of which, the Radicals mentioned that they despise traitors. Do they just think that anyone who's different from them is a traitor? Hmm. No, why don't they talk specifically about Thea because she is from the desert, but he's inside with them. Yeah. Some people can be so narrow-minded when it comes to bloodline and beliefs. It makes no difference what I say or how I behave. I'll always be suspected of having ulterior motives. Slowly, I just stopped talking to people. I pretended not to hear or see anything. All I want is to live my life in peace. And then it happened. The village keepers who had helped me disappeared with no explanation, and I didn't dare breathe a word about it to anyone. Until now. You can tell them. I'm sure he'll keep your secret. <laughs> All right. I'll tell you what I told Al Haytham. I actually have a sharper sense of hearing than most. Sometimes, I hear strange crying sounds in the night. <gasps> there are ghosts? Perhaps. I'm not sure. It's faint, but it's definitely the sound of crying. It comes from far away in the distance, and always carries very raw emotion. It used to be louder and more frequent, but ever since you arrived in the village, it doesn't seem to happen as often, and when it does, it's much quieter. I have to focus really hard to make it out. I confirmed this with the guards on night duty. They also have someone with a good ear, and he's heard similar sounds at night. But, because we're in the middle of a desert, he would rather believe that they are the cries of beasts than ghosts. Oh, well, an every person good hearing is that. Could you make out where the sounds are coming There's from? There's really nothing around these parts, except for an old hospital not far from the village. I think they used to use it for treating Elazar, but it's been abandoned for years. Mm, maybe you need to check out the hospital? Yeah! Star of Shifa Editor Archive. Yeah! 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 
This is order. Solidify. Falling leaves. Adorn my. I'll approve you. Wind strike. What are we expecting? Uh, super strong bandits? Or monsters taller than buildings dropping out of the sky? Or, you know, something like that? Hmm. He looks super serious. We gotta stay on our A game, too. Hmm. This is the one. Huh? Let's go in and take a look. You carefully search the pain in the hospital. <sighs> hey, oh, hey, Thumb. We haven't found Squat. Are you sure we aren't wasting our time here? Patience. Shawnee says she only hears the crying at night. We have time to burn. Until then. I'm taking a break. <sighs> and just like that, he sits down. Wait, he even brought a book to read? What are you reading? Let Paimon see! Okay, sure. So, basics. um, you got that? Oh, Paimon gives up. You keep reading your book. See ya. How is he so relaxed? Look at him, reading an impossible book in a creepy place like this. No, it wouldn't kill you to read the book. The book was a while either. Maybe it's some spider wings and um, learns. Hey, what good is that gonna do for you? You're acting like one of those annoying grown-ups who go around nagging people to focus on their studies! The more you learn, the more money you can earn to support me. Hey, what gives? Shouldn't you be the one providing for Paimon? What? Isn't that what I'm doing now? Oh, right. Okay then. Um, thank you for working so hard and earning so much more. Uh, if it weren't for you, Paimon would probably still be floating around in the ocean somewhere. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hey. Ah, Paimon's getting so sleepy. Oh, we can hear now. Huh? What was that sound? There it is. It's coming from that direction. And she can hear that from her home. Is the sound coming from here? Huh. Paimon's not seeing anything. Hmm? It's from below. Shouldn't they have noticed that uh, before? But there's no way we can get down there. Something is off about the interior here. What? Chicken broccoli? No. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. 
Uh, why they have the name? As I thought, there's a hidden structure. Wow! It's like they tucked another hospital into this one. Well, it looks like there are other mechanisms around here. Let's keep exploring. Hmm. Because you need a monument so um yeah. oh, have to show one with the forest Was a, I didn't pay attention, there was a little bird here. Ah, okay, the, you mean the boss. Usually keeping John Lee on my party, so I'll just go with whatever I got on hand. Oh, I didn't see that. Why? Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't find one of those. Oh, I ain't dying already. Go. Mm, where was it? Uh, uh, mm. Seriously, can't we just break that? It looks old enough. Maybe just note. Patient Abbas, Mayo 23 year olds, all on the left side of the forehead and left-handed. While his condition remains very serious, survival will be difficult without professional medical care. The patient's survivability, once found, immediately informed, don't give up, stay positive. All beings are under the watchful eye of the divine, so don't ever give up. Rest of the recommendations have been rendered unreadable by the veteran. In case of emergency, contact the physician on duty immediately. Monday Ibrahim, Tuesday Redacted, Wednesday Emoji, the mini sessions are blank. Keep balanced diet, rest regularly, and maintain a good mood. Monday, Minty Bean Salt, a Chin Lunch. Curry shrimp, honey puri dinner, to the salad, okay, okay, Wednesday, remain sucks in black. 
This doesn't really look like a hospital. There should be the darkened remains of a steam set vase. It was probably used for flowers. Uh, there was for Evie at the bottom of the bottle, seems to have been given to someone named Evie. Yeah. See you! Oh, there's there's someone over there. We need to be careful. Good idea. Let's approach him slowly without alarming him. Wait. You're. Mm. <sighs> he can't speak, and his eyes are unfocused. But he looks too young to be anyone's grandfather. Also, why is he the only one here? Didn't expect to see him here. You know him? He's Razak, a senior of mine at the Academia. He's a scholar too? Is he the kind that holds up in a forest and mumbles stuff about training? Isn't kind of obvious that. She's a scholar. No. And that's the problem. Razak was never involved in any of those things. He never trained in the forest, let alone reach Satyavada life. So how did he become like this? Leaving that question aside for the moment, him being here alone means that we might be too late. Looks like they've already taken everyone away. For whatever reason, they left Razak here. Perhaps they simply didn't have time to come back for him. Hmm. There are drag marks on the ground. They're clearer by the doorway. Someone was forcefully drawing a cart that was loaded with something heavy. Loaded with people? That is one possibility. Hmm. It looks like they were in a hurry, as if they were afraid of being caught. In their haste, they failed to notice Razak hiding in a corner. The symptoms are identical. Looks like we found living proof. Huh? Why do you say that? Allow me to jog your memory. Recall your time at Port Ormos. Don't you think his symptoms look familiar? Um. Uh, no, that guy was kind of angry in French Bash about it. Yeah, not really. They're main guy who went mad. Oh, now that you mention it, they're acting the same way. They're not. Correct. The academia is behind all of this. It isn't difficult to deduce their rationale. First, the academia spread a false rumor of the Scarlet King's resurrection, emphasizing the role of the village keepers, the mad scholars who were exiled to Aru village. These rumors were all the persuasion that the Radicals needed, and those based in Aru village leapt into action. Unbeknownst to them, of course, through rounding up the scholars, they were actually helping the Academia. As well as being able to exploit the Radicals for their own ends, this scheme has one further advantage to the Academia. All the risks and responsibilities are offloaded onto the Scarlet King's followers. Life for the Desert Dwellers has been brutal ever since the Scarlet King's death all those years ago. Beneath the surface, feelings of desperation are widespread. Many would give everything they have for the prospect of something better. Anyone looking to exploit that for their own ends simply needs to make a few empty promises. Even if complications arise, people will see that those involved are all followers of the Scarlet King and look for no further explanation than differences of belief. A deep-seated mistrust of the desert and everyone in it by the rest of Sumeru will make sure of that. The notion of an academia plot wouldn't even cross their minds. It may seem like a simple strategy, but it is able to work wonders under Sumeru's current circumstances. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. It's in line with the village chief's theory too. 
but there's still one very important question. Wasn't it the academia that brought the scholars to Aru Village in the first place? Why does it want them back now? Throughout this process, one thing has changed. The scholars' identity. First, they were scholars. Then, they became lunatics. After that, they were exiles. And finally, they become missing persons. I don't you see. An exile is still patently a living, breathing human being. But when someone becomes a missing person, that is brought into question. If you can't find someone, you have no way of knowing what exactly happened to them. That makes missing people an ideal resource. Mm -hmm. Resource? For what exactly? One possibility is that the information in their brains could be extracted into knowledge capsules. Extracted? You mean, canned knowledge comes from people's brains? Well, I don't suppose they fall from trees. With the technology of the Sumeru Academia, it's entirely possible. Perhaps the process caused them great suffering, which is why they cry out in the dead of night when no one is watching them. So, the human brain... Nope! Nah! Paimon doesn't want to think about this! How did you learn of this technology? I'm the Academia scribe, after all. I'm familiar with their projects. Anyway, judging by Razak's state, the contents of a divine knowledge capsule were extracted from his mind. But, something went wrong in the process. Or perhaps, his curiosity got the better of him, and he used such a capsule for himself. Uh, Hyman's a little confused. Can they just use anyone's brain? Well, it can be right. Most of the mass scholars have made contact with the divine consciousness and force. That's what the academia is after. It's also safe to assume that this knowledge has something to do with the Fatui, the Doctor, and also the Pandalier, Baladir. Uh, they are using divine knowledge capsules to turn the Baladir into a god. The look on your face tells me you've realized the answer. Um, academia needs people who have been exposed to the divine consciousness. That's right. To some scholars, gaining knowledge about the gods is their entire life's pursuit. Extracting can knowledge is just one of the extreme measures they turn to. However, I can't help but wonder. What do they seek to gain from divine knowledge? The academia is going out of their way to look for forbidden knowledge, but what is their ultimate goal? I've spent quite some time trying to analyze the contents of the divine knowledge capsule, but to no avail. It seems like my way of thinking is too different from theirs. You mean, you're not even slightly interested in getting your hands on this forbidden stuff? All scholars seek to expand the horizons of knowledge. But I'm not particularly interested in gods, so I don't share their degree of zealotry. Extracting information from people as if they were lifeless objects? <laughs> if this is the direction of academic progress, then the Academia may as well shut its doors. Sounds like you're really against all this. Of course. The Academia's actions run contrary to their rules. Whether it be academics or knowledge, everything has its boundaries. If those lines are crossed, the rules and order that govern everything in the world will be destroyed. This matter needs to be corrected, just like fixing a typo in a book. Didn't you step in to help because you felt sympathy for those poor people? Not to be callous, but no. My criteria are a little more restrictive than that. There is no shortage of suffering in Sumeru, and the same can be said for the rest of Tevat as well. What do you plan to do about that? Save every last person? That's kind of what we're doing in most games. Um, yeah. probably not. Uh, Paimon's not sure. Your motives are more specific and personal. You can say that. Simply put, 
I don't blindly place my faith into strength or heroism. I do what I want. The Divine Knowledge Capsule is something I want to investigate in full. That doesn't mean I'm willing to take action for the sake of a few strangers. Oh, he rejects the notion of greater moral responsibility. Just fight his actions because they are true to his personal motivations. Someone like him might actually make for a better ally. Paimon's been wanting to say this for a while. There are a lot of bad guys in the academia, but you're not one of them. You're their weirdo. Mm. <laughs> you're probably right. Though I must say, I quite enjoy this feeling of being the odd one out. Uniqueness is also an asset, is it not? Wow, that's a great way to think about it. Paimon's really impressed. If only Miss Shani had a similar mindset, her life would definitely be a lot easier. I'm just a more likable person than her in general. There's nothing more to it than that. <sighs> so, what do we do with him? He won't last long if we leave him here. Let's take him with us. We'll work out our next step after we return to Aru Village. Okay. Mm, they're dragging a cart here, but isn't the exit kind of hard to bring a cart to here? There's a sort of treasure we'll find here. The shelves are full of thin books you brought through the shelves. It was a nightstand. And find that they are they, they seem to be hospital documents such as medical records or financial statements. You shut the door in disappointment. So Pamela thought there would be some special treasure inside. Even the wooden barrels and crates we find on our adventures are better than this. At least those head cabbages are fall inside. Uh, what's this? Looks like it fell out from over here. Let Paimon see, maybe lead us to treasure. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot. Special name, Abbas, gender male, occupation farmer, basic status of admissions, cab skin, and a limp extremities, multiple ulcers on the back, chest, and other bodily surfaces. Weakness of limbs and poor mobility observed. Mental faculties are coherent, though so there are clear signs of fatigue, poor sleep quality, and poor appetite. Doctor in charge, a moldy. A week one of hospitalization, a new scans of limb, extremities, shoulders, and left arms, seeming noticeable in pain. And the factories are coherent, so there are clear signs of fatigue. Big trees, scabs, uh, scale like, and have spread across the surface and body. There is a necrosis in most ulcers. The patient has fallen into a coma. And now it changed. Is that the doctor? The necro week 9. The necrosis of the ulcers have, has been. Effectively kept under control, and no new scabs have appeared on the surface of the body. The patient is in a comatose state. The one from the replacement treatment, replacement like transplant, has not healed even after a long time. No new scabs have appeared on the surface of the body. There is weakness in the limbs, and the patient cannot grasp items on their own. The patient is also experiencing fever and vomiting. Mental faculties are coherent, though fatigued, poor sleep, and unable to eat. We have started to manage to keep the scabs on the body surface under control, and the new limb new limbs function has been restored. The patient is experiencing chronic coughing 
and is prone to fading. Mental faculties are coherent and in good state. Sleep quality and appetite are decent. Elas are so scary. No, the, I mean, the doctor was kind of scary as well. Uh, what does the other document say? Oh, come on, other document? I just... Uh, Trime, Abbas, Jinner, Mayo, Farmer. Uh, after 20 weeks of treatment, specimen force a uh, new skin and new left arm have recovered well. Do they have anesthesia here or no changes in appetite or sleep? Mental state fluctuates beyond the normal range. There have been multiple attempts to leave the care area. God's voice guides me, is cited as motivation. And the specimens believed to have delusional tendencies. Additionally, the God's voice described in the confession is possibly related to the resonant quake phenomenon present in the internal topographic structure of the dunes. Uh, uh, does do, do dunes have internal topographic structures? Isn't a dune just a pile of sand that can shift over time? Uh, this should be investigated to rule out ungovernable input interference, increased supervision. Treatment protocol, the second phase of the trial is beginning to see results. Next phase has objective specimen force organs or something. Uh, follow extensive examination, sample 3 is the best material for the third phase of the trial before the implementation of something is required, continuous vomit is king, something is a normal occurrence, something must be prepared beforehand for specimen 4 to maintain the circulation of something. After completion of the base case something operation, observe the subject for one week. If normal physiological activity is observed in the organs, the rate of deterioration of surface scabs is reduced and limb function is restored. The next phase of the southern trial can commence. Physician's notes. All specimens have one thing in common. Both elemental quantities are, were at abnormally high levels and were positively correlated with the severity of the disease. After something experiment, the body elemental quantities were reduced and samples self-reported a reduction in symptoms. It is reasonable to hypothesize that there is a casual relationship between elemental quantities and Elazar. More controlled trials should be conducted to exclude redundant variables. Notes: The enrichment process of elemental quantities in humans may be dynamically sustained. After the completion of early something experiments, within a short period of time, specimen in one's physical indicators trained to the norm. In later stages, due to something not being complete, the quantity of elements in the sample bodies rebounded and symptoms increased, leading to specimen one's something. It could not be with cycle for materials. Information obtained. Preparations must be made from, for long-term trials. Something cannot be stopped before the specimen symptoms have stabilized. Uh, due to the nature of the trial, there must be a method to stabilize the sample's methods, moods. Uh, removal of something may be tempted. Following the new method, the material resection rate has been significantly reduced. Specimens 2 and 3 develop mental instability due to associative connections to fundamental inner qualities of something, intended to attribute the disease to unverifiable divine punishment. Consequently, considering it blasphemy to accept something as treatment, it is a very interesting thought. Uh, exploring neurostimulation and the resulting cognitive shifts could be a future research topic. 
due to the above uncontrollable variables, they halted the stage at stage 2, a shame. However, the materials provided by these two samples were the best quality materials so far. It is reasonable to believe that the perfect performance of specimen 4 is related to the material quality provided by these two samples. Ultimately, once the three stage experiment was completed, specimen 4 symptoms disappeared completely, proving, proving that it is possible to use something to control the elemental content of a person's body without relying on elemental power. There is potential for weaponization. Uh, what are they? What are they doing? Discussions for a research on something have to be increased in the future. Humans have a limited potential. It may be foolish for me, as a researcher, to write this, but with enough input, I may be able to reach the level of a god, or so people. I call it. I won't didn't understand a thing. Didn't get it either. Ignorance might be a bliss here, to be honest. Uh, you understood it. I'm only got the bit about God's voice guides me. Does that mean there will be unique voices guiding us here? Could be underground water flow or creature activity. <sighs> That's the most important part they took of that, not the human experiments. Yeah, who knows, there might be some underground ruins, let's listen for any sounds and take a closer look when we hear something. Is that for a side quest or something? What was that? Let's have some more description. People don't want to mention his name, nor do want to remember his words or deeds. Uh. I'm supposed to go back there. Hmm, that guy seems fine. You must be tired. You should rest and take some water. What's the situation? Nobody acknowledged the new guy. Hmm? Who's this? Hmm. Unfortunately, somebody who's too young to take on the role of Isak's grandfather. Nevertheless, he's one of the people we're trying to find. Uh, from what you saw in the abandoned hospital, and sure, blah blah blah. So, at one point in time, the abandoned Elazar Hospital served as the academia site for extracting divine cant knowledge. Yep, pretty much. But it can't be at one point in time so long ago. Their plan must have been that implemented at some point before we arrived at Aru Village. Since Divine Cant and Knowledge has been in circulation for a while now. Yet, they fled once we were headed to the village. Almost as if they knew we were on their trail. Why is that? Hmm. Yeah, why is that? Because we are on their trail, aren't we? We may have a mole in our midst. One of us could be secretly revealing our whereabouts to the Academia. Are we really friends? Do we know each other so well? <sighs> Looks like none of you have realized wherein lies the issue. Can I share your thoughts? Sino, you're the reason why they can predict our movements. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? Choose your next words very carefully. It is simply a logical inference. I have my reasons. Mm, you're the one, only one here using an Akasha. So what you're saying is... Sino's the mole. Interesting. 
And here I thought you were the most suspicious one, I'll hate them. Since you were always acting alone. I know. You have a point. But I realized something as we were returning from the hospital. Sino isn't like any of us. What are you trying to say? Do you still remember who you are, General Mahamatra? <laughs> As a Matra, you are no doubt privy to certain kinds of information. Before you can take action against someone, you are required to have all the facts available, including the less than savory details. Simply put, the Academia has traditionally allowed you access to a wealth of sensitive information. Knowing their modus operandi, wouldn't you expect them to take precautions against you? If you want to raise a vicious wolf, you need to make sure that you can avoid its bite. The Academia is monitoring me? It's not that simple. The Academia has eyes all over Sumeru, but they have a special protocol for dealing with you. Every so often comes a Nyagarbaha day. On this day, the Academia enters new information into the Akasha through knowledge capsules. I remember seeing the thick notebook next to the control panel once. Its contents were all about the General Mahamatra, his activities throughout the day, preferred methods of enacting judgment, everything. You're saying that the Academia entered my information into the Akasha too? But what's the point in doing that? My actions aren't important enough to be added into the Akasha. The Akasha is capable of computation. Huh. The Akasha's algorithms are entirely capable of predicting your movements using the data entered. When you would depart, the route you would follow, your destination. It knew all of this. It predicted my every move. The Academia has been watching you longer than you think. So that's how it is. Sino adheres to his principles so strongly that he's actually a thorn in their side. Tenacity of will and steadfast faith are worthless to the Academia. They need scholars who are easily pliable and mindlessly go after anything they can profit from. Sino, don't take it to heart. This just proves how much of a trustworthy ally you are. <sighs> they escaped because of me. Don't blame yourself. It's not like any of us would have known. Exactly. I have an idea. Can they use the Akash of the uh, of your as GPS or something? If they predicted my movements, as well, then I might be able to guess where they went. Whoa, you bounced back fast. There is always an opportunity for safety after danger passes. Oh, so that's how it is! Paimon gets it now! If the Academia is trying to avoid Sino, then the safest place would be... One step behind him. Yep, that's right! They'll want to proceed in the direction opposite of where I'm going. You're getting smarter, Paimo. I must go. There's also something I want to investigate. Let's go, guys! After him! Please, wait! I want to go, too! Hmm. You want to go, too? If so... You have to promise you'll stay safe. I want to find Grandpa. I promise I'll be careful and not cause any trouble. Everyone, I leave him in your hands. All right. Yay! Let's go! Remember to pack some food with you. Is it safe to bring the travel? It feels like we're missing someone, though. <laughs> I'll be awaiting your good news. Better nice in here anymore. Uh, please stay safe, everyone.
from here. I know you remember the road you took. Yes. After leaving the village, we should head straight toward the desert. Can you come from Sumer City to this town? Shouldn't this be the way you would naturally follow afterwards? Shouldn't they try to go back? To I know the, the desert like the back of my hand. Is that because you play here a lot? Yep. One time, Grandpa almost got lost in the desert, but I was the one who brought him back. Uh, that reminds me of Perp 64. Where did you go? There's something here. What's this? It's buried in the sand. Hmm. Looks like we'll need to roll up our sleeves and do some work. I have an animal guy here. <sighs> and by my thought running around everywhere was already enough work. You don't run. I have no time for complaining. Okay, Pyman. okay. So we have to dig it out? Whatever's down there looks like it's buried really deep. Some effort managed to retrieve the bird. Animals. These are likely fragments of an academia developed device, something akin to a headset. Looks like there were more than one village keeper. They must have been escorted this way because there are device fragments scattered around here. Let's split up and search the area. Chances are that we'll find other things nearby. Everyone goes different directions to start digging in the sand. Treasure, why you dig up another device nearby? Is this what we're searching for? It looks kind of scary. Yeah, it's kind of cool. This is definitely a device used to extract divine knowledge. How did it end up buried in the sand? That can't have been part of the plan. They must have been attacked along the way. Wait, what? Mm, the wolf. Grandpa, I hope you're okay. Don't worry, your grandpa's gonna be fine. We don't know that. Razak didn't display any signs of starvation or dehydration, which means that they left fairly recently. We should be able to catch up. One more thing. Given that the device had been entirely covered by sand, I believe the attack must have happened prior to the sandstorm. I agree. Let's keep going. They can't have gone far. That was at least a day ago, but from what uh, the guys were saying, running on sand is so tiring. it would have been a long while. But you're flying, aren't you, Paimon? Is flying over sand tiring too? Ugh, of course it is! So the guy had no signs of starvation or dehydration, even being alone crazy in that room for at least a couple of days voices over there it sounds like an argument where whoa you have really good ears don't get any closer they'll notice us Dia's talking with the Aramites? Hmm. Very interesting. Let's listen in. If you had informed me sooner, there'd be plenty of room for us to... You're one of us. We would never lie. Scholars. You don't know as much as I do. Need me to... <laughs> I knew it. That's our Dia. Dia? Why would you... Dia! We shouldn't have brought the... Hey! What are you doing? Huh? Didn't you say you'd help me find Grandpa? Why... Why are you on their side? <laughs> well, look who's here. Ain't that something? Ugh, this complicates things. You've betrayed Aru village. 
Come on. So, this is the great General Mahamatra. <laughs> Dear, you'd be better off as my assistant than hanging around with this motley crew. Seen for yourself, I have the means and methods, and my ideals are far more admirable than theirs. I'm not the type that's easily swayed, Raman. You of all people should know that. Wait, what's going on, Dia? Whose side are you on here? Shut it, Paimon. Yes, <laughs> finally. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Whichever side you pick, nothing could deter us from the grand mission of resurrecting the Scarlet King. Once our Lord of Old returns to this land, we will have a new beginning. Face the facts, Raman. It's not gonna happen. You should understand that more than anyone. Have all your years as a merc taught you nothing about placing hopes in a ruler? I'm a desert dweller and a proud follower of the Scarlet King. Whether I live by the edge of the sword or in peaceful comfort, my soul will always carry this conviction. It's not too late yet. The village keep... Mad scholars aren't gonna bring the Scarlet King back to life. You don't understand, my dear lady. Pursuing our faith is our purpose in life. Even if the chance of success is one in a million, we must be willing to give everything we have. Even if it'll expose you to the Academia? Even if they end up disbanding the Aramites? Your Aramites, which you've worked so hard for all these years? Yes. We've waited a long time for this day to come. The sun and the moon no longer shine here. All you see now is cracks in this desiccated land. But fate has finally dealt me a hand to play against the Academia. With these scholars in our custody, we'll stomp the Academia's forces and fight our way beyond the wall of Samuel. Ridiculous. Think about it. The Academia controls the entirety of Sumeru. Your powers are negligible in comparison. If you still don't believe me, then try asking these two men. They're also against the Academia, but neither of them are as arrogant as you are. <laughs> they look more like pawns of the Academia to me. Why would I listen to anything the people of Greater Lord Ruka Devada have to say? Filthy traitors. Your god abandoned all honor and betrayed the Scarlet King. We desert dwellers will never trust the likes of you. It's impossible to communicate with someone so hostile. Perhaps we should. Do you really believe that by kidnapping the scholars, you'll be able to negotiate with the Academia? These people have no value as bargaining chips, but I could be persuaded to take their place as your next hostage. These scholars were exiled from the Academia. I, on the other hand, am their current scribe, and will be a much greater asset to you. Wait, you can't be serious. Come on, we can beat them up. So, you want to trade places with the hostages, do you? Precisely. Any wise person would gladly accept my offer. What are you thinking? What if they decide to kill you instead? They will lose their leverage. Well, that would be bad luck for me. However, I'd get the chance to observe the scholars. Perhaps even find out the truth. <sighs> Think you can talk me over with that confident look of yours? I'm not trying to persuade you. I'm using this as a means of joining forces against the Academia. You are the scribe. What do you have against the Academia? Not all desert dwellers believe in the Scarlet King, and the same applies to the Academia. Why must all knowledge seekers approve of the Academia's way of doing things? <laughs> You academia scum. Every last one of you is nothing but a hypocrite, just like everyone else on the other side of that wall. 
I've made myself clear enough. I won't listen to another word from the Dendro Archon's people. Not so fast. I'll hate them. Do you stand by everything you just said? <laughs> I never make empty promises. You know you're making a dangerous decision, right? I do. Good. Raman, hear me out. These people are my friends. Maybe you can't take the followers of the Dendro Archon at their word, but what about me? Do you trust me? We've known each other for years. Of course I do. In that case, I'm willing to vouch for their honesty with my right arm. Uh, uh... Come on, Raman, don't be a coward. If you're serious about taking on the Academia, you need to steal yourself. You can't be afraid. <laughs> An arm from the Flame Mane. You've piqued my interest. Mm. Is their arm not flesh? But what if you refuse to oblige? What should I do then? No one's a fool here, Dia. We're mercs. And mercs don't tend to live long unless they have their wits about them. You're not wrong, but this is different. I promised my friends that we'd bring back the village keepers together. <laughs> Let's do it right here then! Give me your right arm as proof of your resolve. <sighs> He's not even trying to negotiate. He just wants to make things more difficult. That's fine. Are you crazy? We came here to save lives. One arm for that many people is still a pretty good deal, if you ask me. Raman, I'm holding up my end of the deal here. You'd better not let me down. Sure. Go ahead and cut off her right arm. Thanks to Sir's turn. No! Dia! What are you gonna do? Think of something! We could just beat them you up. You don't have to go this far. That's not for you to decide. We can outnumber them. Do it! Stop! I think I was already halfway there. What's wrong? Can't do it? Flame Mane, you and I are both desert folk. Cutting off your arm is no different than cutting off my own fingers. Where's the sense in cutting my own kin to pieces? <laughs> You've shown me that you're serious. Go on now, take your friends and leave. Meet me in the desert at noon tomorrow. I was really counting on him not going through with it. Dia! That was crazy! Have you all lost your minds? What if he'd actually cut your arm off? Hmm, then I'd just have to hold my claymore with my left arm. Hmm. I'm too worried about you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But sometimes when you're out on a limb, you gotta double down to seal the deal, you know? Don't ever make a promise like that again. I can deal with the likes of them. If it came down to it, you would not lose to them either. I don't doubt it, Sino. But this is about more than me and them. There's a lot more where they came from. Even if we got rid of one bunch of radicals, there are others out there. Wiping them out would do more harm than good. <sighs> As you wish. I'm sorry, Dia. I should have stayed put and listened. I should have trusted you. 
It's okay. I promised you I'd help find your grandpa, so I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes? <laughs> you just might be scholar material. Huh? Are you serious? The Eremites once said that I was a lunatic. Perhaps a little madness is essential to be successful in research. Why does it feel like he's using his praise for me as an excuse to brag about himself? Hmm, I think he was just stating the truth. That's just how he is. Okay, let's get moving. We should head back to the village and rest up. Today was just a trial run. Noon tomorrow is gonna be the hard part. Oh, oh. More chance of success, where this takes. There's not a time to read everything that shows up on the screen. Flowers, first you get. You're all here so early. Looks like we have everyone here. Isak, are you sure you want to come with us? Leave him behind. I'll watch from a safe distance. Dia, I want to be there to bring Grandpa home. Okay, let's go then. Dia, wait. What's the matter? I heard that you were quite reckless yesterday. No more of that today, understood? Or I'll be very upset with you. <sighs> Fine. Oh, that's a bit farther. up there. No, I'm not climbing that now. Time to go. It's a bit hidden, it seems. The domain nearby. Uh, 
That's a withering zone. Uh, yes, it is. Follow the wind. Time to go. Leon of King Desrich. Mm. Ah, that's where the thing is. Ah, there are four pyramids. Doesn't the Giza Necropolis also have three uh, four pyramids, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, just because I remember. Let's see if I get him today. No. Hmm. Good. Using that, I should so for that, so I can capture Pokemon. Time to go. Oh, yeah. Leon of King Desert added to the archive. Doesn't exactly look safe. Oh, there's some in the batches and stuff. Oh, man. Solidify! This is order! As one with wind and cloud! Can't see? Let's nip that in the butt! What? What's that? Check, 
Brings a smile to my face. Let's up with those. Primal construct. Essential machines with which some come from the desert are but distinct from the ruin machines. In combat these primal constructs will fire their components out of their cores and enter an invisible state that hides them from and increases their resistance. Use catalyst reactions to strike these cores or use electro attacks on them during such times as the fired components have been destroyed and need to recover to cancel invisibility cause the course to be immobilized due to excessive overclocking ah uh, let's see if I a new about it what are those here we still like to see those you know loss and they feel primal construct without disabling the visible stage uh. break the tumbleweed drifting in the desert okay Time to go. Uh, okay, I probably won't be able to <laughs> open this one as well. It's probably underneath the pyramid. Uh, that reminds me of the running main from Ocarina. Oh yes, I, I thought that would be overheating in the desert, like <laughs> during the fight with the with Senor. <laughs> Time to go. I thought this region would be like the opposite of. Dragon Spine. Time to go. No, I want to. I kind of want to shoot to sort of here. Oh, I'm climbing up that. No, oh. oh, maybe you can. Time to go. Run diagonally to get there. It's over. Aren't you still close? What? <laughs> That's just one scholar. Aren't supposed to be more? They got here before us. Uh-oh. Is it because Paimon overslept by five minutes and held everyone up? You didn't have to admit to that. Is everything ready? Absolutely. Although... You brought fewer people than I imagined. Bring him over. Grandpa! Why is there only one of them? Raman, I've always thought of you as a man of his word. What's this about? It's a one-for-one -one exchange. Sounds fair, don't you think? Not really. Our guy is more important to the academia. And let me put it this way. Agreeing to any kind of deal with the Dendro Archon's people is already a huge compromise on my part. Don't you think you've... Asked enough? <sighs> uh, 
Uh-uh. You stay right there! has a almost sword. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> Don't you see this blade here? You coward. Why are your hands shaking? Wait a second. It's a earthquake! <laughs> Hmm. Maybe that's how I'll open that domain. Several okay. Uh, this day's going just great. <laughs> what a nuisance. The sand dune collapsed. I saw an energy field. The village keeper protected us. It glowed green with Tentro. <laughs> Just like you said, it may well have been the remains of Lesser Lord Kusanali's power inside the scholar's body. No doubt. You finally the dendro archon before the you present one. Proof. Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no. He's getting confused again. Hey, look around you. There used to be a temple here? There aren't other guys. It seems that when the sand dune collapsed, it exposed these underground structures. The symbols on the gate belong to the Scarlet King's civilization. This structure must be ancient. Over time, the sandstorms completely buried it and left it in the state we see now. It could have been an underground palace in the distant past. Oh, a miracle! Praise oh. the Scarlet King! What's he doing here? And his men too? They must have fallen down here with us. Pretty lucky if you ask me. Most of them seem in really bad shape. Except for him. He got off lightly. <laughs> Mind your head. No, no, this isn't the time for conflict. Our exalted lord has shown us the way to his sacred palace. Uh, he's not actually gonna go in there, is he? As it happens, I want to take a look inside too. What are you doing? Don't you think it's curious? One minute, Lesser Lord Kusanali's power protects us from harm, and the next, remnants of the Scarlet King's civilization appear. Two major deities are vying to showcase their power to us. It would be a shame not to witness them both. Paimon thought you weren't interested in gods! Indeed. In my view, gods are just a higher form of living being. Or creature, you could say. New discoveries are always worth investigating. Whether they have anything to do with gods is neither here nor there. Raman, what are you gonna do about your men? I'll just let them lay here. The Scarlet King will take care of his people. Right now, I'm going inside. Hmm. <laughs> Time to go. Uh, 
Grandpa? Grandpa? Oh no, he's getting confused again. I don't know. Did her back tell us his name? Recommended just recommendation, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think just at the beginning of the game, most times I actually had to bring somebody because that would be elemental monument to use. That should be fine. It's full of life here. This defies comprehension. It looked completely desolate from the outside. Yet, it flows with energy inside. Yeah! And there's so many plants! It's so pretty! Sir Rahman. Hmm. Couldn't. A structure. A large structure in the desert work somehow to make an oasis we would protect from the heat outside would keep moisture inside w huh me <laughs> do you see another raman here are you mocking me what do you mean sir interpret it however you want but there's something i'd like to draw your attention to while this structure is clearly left over from the Scarlet King civilization, the energy that flows in here is that of the Dendro Archon. Whatever you say, it's not like I have a vision. There's nothing to be angry about. Think of this as an academic journey. It does seem kind of strange. If that's true, then... We might have to explore this whole area to find an explanation. Time to go. There's drawing some more. Hmm. So guy look up at the hall as a mortal and listen to the King Desert's holy kindness. There. Can I climb it? Yeah. No. It's not literally sure. Nope. about just what they show they go okay Thank you. 
Ah, just a little bit. Wind Strider! Time to go. Fallen leaves adorn my night. I will have order. Gather. Time to go. Stabilize. One with wind and cloud! This is order! Gather! Wind strike! <laughs> Can't see! <laughs> After six days, if you're trading the temple, I finally understood the priests parlor tricks. The elevator will descend to the ground and get on top of it before it starts ascending again to reach the dome. Nonsense like forbidding blood ahead, mortals shall not pass or whatever are just made up by the priests to look winkles. Um, I believe this method here in hopes that the people of King Deathstretch who shall travel here in the future shall freely enjoy the privilege of witnessing his sacred presence. Uh, but I didn't try to make... Oh no, but there was a ceiling on that one. So I probably okay here. Okay, Solidify. Huh. Wind Strider. I hear everything. Gather. Wind Strider. Clouds high. The birds. Crumble!
I suppose she's that. Turn off. Time to go. Ah. Okay, maybe the one continuous rotating. Then I just came up here. Yeah, okay, now I went lower. a sight to see. The Scarlet King's splendor surrounds us. There's so much vegetation here. It's different than what I expected. Sure are a lot of plants for a desert. <laughs> That's what I call divine providence of the Scarlet King. somewhere on the map. No, we can't open it. It's getting brighter! Oh, it looks so beautiful! Wait, what's that? A load of flowers, and it looks like there's something among them. Looks like a tomb, it does. Yeah. Huh. Okay. These are Scarlet King runes. They left something behind. Hmm. Yes, it's an elegy written in an ancient script. What does it say? Here lies our faithful priest Kasala. His wisdom is a miracle among the people, deserving of high praise and admiration. You can read ancient Scarlet King script? Of course. Every student needs to master at least 20 languages before they graduate. Hmm. Uh, at least 20 languages, but... Everybody being so far, people say they have different names and stuff, but they have the same language. He's not serious, right? Probably is. There's still something off about this place. The elemental energy here is too concentrated. The scent of life. Is it trying to tell us something? Hmm. Is this it? Analyzing. Hmm. There seems to be a hidden message among these skeletal remains. Excellent. There's a device from the Scarlet King's civilization in this gravesite. I'll transmit the information over and project it for everyone to see. Uh. Uh, did they say that Akash only worked in Summer City and for almost a place like that? Isn't sharing knowledge against the Academia's rules? Yes. However, under the circumstances, I'd prefer you to see this for yourself. You'll understand after watching it. Civilization is born of knowledge, but so too 
can knowledge be its demise? A disaster caught us unaware. It was knowledge that did not belong to this world. The Scarlet King brought this forbidden knowledge into our world, and it quickly spread like a plague. People's minds were filled with crazed whispers. Dark gray scales spread across their bodies. Even the land was stripped of its vigor. Only a desperate, deathly silence remained. Were it not for Greater Lord Ruka Devata from the forests, the damage would have been irreversible. She summoned the priests to build temples and infused into them the divine power of life. The disaster was miraculously tempered, and the embers of our civilization were preserved in Aru village. Alas, the miracle could not last. As long as forbidden knowledge continued to exist, it would forever blight this world. In the end, the proud king of the desert, my eternal lord, chose to sacrifice himself. I have spent my whole life since guarding one of these many temples. But now, my duty is coming to an end. As I close my eyes for the final time, the sight of that noble deity will appear in my vision once more. In helping the Scarlet King to eradicate forbidden knowledge, she exhausted her strength, and her form became that of a small child. How strange. Now that I think of her, I no longer have any fear of death, for I sense that the spirit of life will abide with me during my eternal sleep. Children of the desert, cling no longer to past grievances, but hold tight to the memory of this act of benevolence. What was that? A cutscene. The priest's yeah, memories. No. No! Impossible! Greater Lord Ruka Devata. So the former Dendro Archon and the Scarlet King were never enemies at all. But this doesn't make any sense. The Dendro Archon's followers, they're clearly... Was that the former Dendro Archon? He became so tiny in the end. Come on, it's kind of obvious what happened. Where the Lord Hukadevata came to the rescue of King Desret and his people, already came the forbidden knowledge took so much of her power. The two deities followers resented have resented each other all this time, completely unaware that their gods stuck by each other through how through their life through life. You might life. be distrustful of the Akasha, but there's no reason for you to doubt the Scarlet King's technology. You've just witnessed his priest's last words. I've never heard about any of this before. The surviving followers of the Scarlet King all gathered in Aru village. Our god did not make mistakes. We refused to believe any of the rumors. The Scarlet King's death, the all but total annihilation of our civilization, it was all Greater Lord Ruka Devata's doing. We saw her as nothing more than a traitor. Who stabbed us in the back in our moment of crisis. <laughs> Just like us humans. Fighting, feuding, double-crossing each other to survive in the desert. You were blinded by your prejudice. <laughs> if I hadn't seen this for myself... If I hadn't witnessed his last words with my own eyes, ears, and heart, how could I ever begin to accept this? The truth is so far from what I've always known. Am I really supposed to 
believe that after all these years, all this time seeking revenge, suddenly now my enemy is my savior? Raman, that's enough. Give it a rest. You're starting to make a fool of yourself. <laughs> Dia, tell me. My Aramites and I, what are we even fighting for? Take some time to collect your thoughts. One of the Raman reactions a lot strange when Hey, they... how you doing? There's not enough time. Eh, I'll live. <laughs> Thanks. I should probably go. Can't just stay here forever. What's your next move gonna be? No, we can't trade forces against the Academia. Oh, I know what you're going to ask. I feel deeply ashamed of everything I've done. You'll get everything you're asking for. But please, uh, give me some time. After everything that's happened here today, somehow I need to explain it to the others. It's not gonna be easy. Well, I guess that's for me to deal with. Dia, this is where our camp's located. Make a note of it. When would be a good time for us to go? Tomorrow. I'll convince everyone that we're all on the same side. And I'll return every last one of your mad, uh, sorry, your village keepers. We'll share our other resources with you, too. You seem to finally understand that our true enemy is the Sages. Yes. The gods never gave up on anyone. It's the people responsible for all this that need to face the consequences of their actions. That must have been rough. But he seems to have figured things out now. <sighs> Raman's no fool. Being the leader of your own faction in the desert is no easy feat. I don't know, there are plenty of leaders that are quite fools. It's too bad he now was held back by his belief in the Scarlet uh, so King. Many. But now that that's changed, I guess we have a few more people on our side. And uh, is that pretty better? The outcome, at least, is favorable. We should get going too. Let's head back, have a proper meal, and a nice... Long sleep. We'll need all our energy tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and why are you dressed like that? They just don't mention anything about history. I know, we're leaving. Stop yelling. Some texture. Yeah, I think most people don't even notice this texture, so this creek. Time to go. Time to go. No. Um. So this area now is kind of pointless. This hole in the ground. There could be some things for us to set up there. Ah. Uh. Now from here. Then we try to go in straight line south and get the one 
Time to go. So, Gets up a tweet game, business. Follow the wind. Raman, we're here. Everything's been arranged. Someone will bring the village keepers back to Aru village shortly. Hmm. I guess all I can say Did now is here? thanks for agreeing to help. Ah, don't mention it. I think we can both agree you went to hell and back for it. Uh, or aren't they? The ones with the villagers, village keepers, supposed to know about uh, Sinos' whereabouts. That's why they were coming here and stuff. They don't know. But we share a stuff. common cause now. From here on out, we're allies. Where are the perpetrators? I'll bring you to them. Follow me. Uh. So these are the people who kidnapped the village keepers. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's the scribe! Um, shouldn't the Eremites be against those guys and stuff? There's no need to yell. No one can help you now. We've been all over the desert trying to find you! That's right. General Mahamatra? No, no. Make it quick, please. Swift and painless. Whoa. The moment they set eyes on Sino, they turned pale like they've seen a ghost. You should have known that I would be coming for you. Wait, we were just following orders. You know what I'm talking about, right? There's no way we could have done all this by ourselves. No, not Sino. He's gonna tear us limb from limb. I could do worse. Please have mercy. St
start talking. Otherwise, I'll have to resort to other methods. So, your superiors have kept you quite busy recently. Why? What are they trying to accomplish? Uh, they, um, wanted to extract canned knowledge. Don't play dumb. You know what I'm really asking. They extract divine canned knowledge. Then what? I... I, I don't, really don't know how to explain it. Well, you better start talking or you'll be sorry! You don't want to make things any more difficult for yourself, do ya? Yeah, ask them a question. Be my guest. The sages are trying to create a new god, aren't they? Huh? Huh? Uh huh? That sure didn't sound like a fancy metaphor or anything. You're serious, aren't you? How did you know? There's no use hiding it now. Yes, you're right. The Academia is working on an important and potentially world-changing project. They are creating a new god. A god that will belong to them and to the people of Sumeru. It may seem as if Sumeru's academics are thriving, but ever since the death of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, scholarly breakthroughs have been few and far between. The withering of soul has been getting worse recently. The sages have tried everything they could think of, but nothing's worked. I'm always hearing them say things like, if only Greater Lord Ruka Devata was still with us. Continue. And then, someone from the Fatui showed up. They called him the Doctor. He brought a, a, a Gnosis and said he wanted to borrow the Academia's research facilities. The Doctor was previously expelled from the Academia. At first, the sages looked down at him in disdain. But when he said those words, everyone's expression changed. He asked them, do you wish to create a god? This is what the arrogant ignorance at the extreme end of Academia looks like. First, the Academia spent a long time constructing a divine vessel, which was based on an exquisite humanoid puppet. After that, they harvested dreams via the Sebzerus Festival Samsara, maximizing the Akasha's output. With the Doctor's help, and the Akasha now functioning at maximum efficiency, they were able to use it to extract the power from the Gnosis and convert it into a divine core. Hmm. Isn't the Gnosis already a uh, divine core? Next, they decided that their new god needed to possess divine wisdom. For that to happen, they needed a huge quantity of divine canned knowledge. It adds up. But how do you determine whether the knowledge extracted is of divine origin? Call it an educated guess? The Academia has been trying to figure out the exact source of the Scholar's Madness for centuries, but to no avail. Nobody can explain the cause of this phenomenon. Uh, surely you can see what that implies, Scribe Al-Haytham. If it's knowledge no mortal can comprehend, then it must be something only gods are able to decipher. In other words, it's the source of the God of Wisdom's omniscience and omnipotence. Hmm. But the sage's impact won't be greater Lord Ruka Devata. You must have noticed by now. The Academia doesn't care about who their god is. It's the ability to exercise control over knowledge and wisdom that matters. It is as if they are cursed with a desire for omniscience and omnipotence that burns in their blood. Some organisms demonstrate phototaxis and thus orient their entire lives in respect to sources of light. For the sages, their only source of hope is the existence of a deity who embodies the acme of wisdom. This is but a form of phototaxis. For many scholars, the absence of a god of wisdom means stumbling in the darkness for the duration of their lives. Then what does Lesser Lord Kusanali mean to you? Is she not a true god present in this world? If you already have a new god, 
why well, try to create another one? From the beginning, the Academia has never treated her as a god. When the Academia first discovered Lesser Lord Kusanali, the newborn god of wisdom, the sages hoped that she would be as wise as Greater Lord Ruka Devada. But upon evaluation... Came up with her name. The other one somehow got her name and introduced herself to the, her people as that, but the Kusanali had a name at which was they found that at the time she possessed no more intelligence than any ordinary human child the sages never had a ruder awakening this forced them to accept that greater lord ruka devada had indeed passed away not to mention that lesser lord kusanali's gnosis had been used to power the akasha this entire time by herself she has neither an archon's raw power nor the spectacular insight expected of a god of wisdom. Mm. Slowly but surely, people began to forget about her existence. So, this is the path the sages have chosen. Even now, they still refuse to knowledge of lesser Lord Kuzanali. Never imagined a god could be subject to such cruelty. All right, let's try to keep our cool. If everyone's in a bad mood, then let's change up our scenery. Raman, give me a few men to help us escort the village keepers back to the village. And these two scholars, they're coming too. Sure, as you wish. Uh, hang on, let me get that. Time to go. Some things from Brindar. Time to go. <laughs> mm, but that's still not the whole desert. Come on, double the size of Sumeru. There's still gonna be more. Uh, it's not bad that they released this new area already, but it seems like it was. Oh, there's something here as well. It seems like it was too fast. Another month or so before they re rebuild the desert. Ah, oh, yes, that was the part over there. The village keepers you found have all been returned to their homes, and each one has a dedicated caregiver to look after them. The two new scholars are being kept under close supervision, too. Really great work, everyone. 
Uh, the atmosphere is so heavy. Uh, it's hard not to feel weighted down by what we just learned. Despite everything, Lester Lord Kuzanali has done for his people, the Academia has been in her in the sanctuary of Surastana like a lost cause. Even those she's protected have never realized there's such a small childlike god in the world. Hey! Say something! Stop spacing out! I think you should expose the Academia. Come on, is there nothing left to talk about? In that case, let's all get some water and try to think about something else. Or I can go fetch some snacks. Oh, Paimon's so coming with you! Do you have any plans, Traveler? Gods above, you're not talking about work, are you? I'm sure I see I know with all of you. Hmm. So you were still withholding some information? Are we? Yes, I'm sorry I have my reasons, but now I know we are all in this together. With the conversations, can Spy Mom bring over snacks and tea? Nay's expression is relaxed, if, if her moods have been affected by her conversation at all. What are we talking okay, about? Sign of his government. Uh, her firm sound expression is face, looks like Smirna's mind about Shama Hayton. Most turns for the crown, he wants to listen to. After that, the whole story comes out. But the experience feeling secrets to share with everyone. To share everyone means to everyone's Even lies. Even though we lived through all of this firsthand, it still feels super surreal to hear you talk about it again. Is everything we've experienced so far in Sumeru? What a whirlwind of a story. I felt like I was holding my breath the whole time. It seems like there will be more issues to face in the days ahead than I'd anticipated. Hmm. Still, now's a good time to make our next move. Now that Raman's joined us, we'll be an even stronger team. It's time to make a plan. Indeed. These events are a flagrant transgression of the rules in every sense. We cannot allow it to continue. So, everyone. Are we on the same page? Crush the sages and rescue our god. That is our ultimate goal. No matter what lies ahead. Well, let's brainstorm a little more about what other resources we can draw on. The next time we gather here, we must have a solid plan. <laughs> yep, it'll work out for sure. <laughs> Don't rush. This is a big undertaking, and the planning and preparation for what lies ahead will no doubt take some time. Okay, let's show the next version. Take it slowly. We need to make sure the plan is as effective as possible. <sighs> He's starting to read his book again. Hey, are you even listening? Would you like me to lend you something to read? No way. Your books aren't quite to Paimon's tastes. I was joking. I know my books are far too difficult for you, and I have no intention of lending them out. Ugh, you're so annoying! You must let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Though I cannot leave Aubrey Village, I can't help but feel... stirred when I see the looks in your eyes. Mm, why can't she leave again? I mean, they have other guards, and she's not the chief. I've never felt as roused as this when fighting alone in the past. I suppose this must be the power of camaraderie. Um, how is there anything you need from me? Not really, but tell me a bit about yourself. I've been the head of our village for a long time now. If anything happens, just come find me. Food, lodgings, whatever I can help you with, I will. To, my, to the best of my abilities. Also, if you encounter loose sand or abnormally strong winds out there in the desert, it's safer if you take shelter in the village as soon as possible. Well, these don't always guarantee that a sandstorm will follow, but it never hurts to be careful. 
I would look at that. I'm getting long winded in my old age. Please don't mind me, youngster. Um, thanks for the reminder. Good, good. As long as I got food to you. Same in a reckless soul run into trouble out in the desert. It's first set me. Of course, having a dairy to challenge danger is a good thing, but you can't simply ignore danger altogether. Oh, there, Uncle Uncle. Ah, uh, it's you. How have you been? It's that mission you to me earlier said you wanted to thank you properly. The kid's fond of you, I can tell. You're quite an example to him. A good thing, of course. Always good to see children be enthusiastic and hardworking. Always glad to see that. If you aren't going to be too busy in the next couple of days, perhaps you might want to rest your feet here. Our village will always welcome you. Okay. The other people. In the past, I never imagined that even the gods could suffer from hardship. If we can find a way to change all of this, will this nation become a better place? The past few days have been some of the most challenging work I've ever taken on. For free. And none of it will earn me a single Mora. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look on the bright side, Dia. Maybe we'll get a huge reward after this is all over. Hmm, you've got a point. Hey, what would you do if you woke up tomorrow with more money than you could ever spend? Paimon would buy boatloads of tasty snacks. That's it? Um, and maybe some tasty drinks as well? <laughs> How adorable. Well, here's to all our indulgent fantasies. If there's a chance they can come true, I'll give it my best shot. And here's hoping that everything we do from now on will change this world for the better. Uh, oh, there's... I got something for my traveler here. No, no, no. Oh, I thought that would be something here. Oh no, but this is obviously events, not story. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, there's still plenty of time for that. The scenery is wonderful. The, the event hasn't been. Well, surely enough to convince anyone to become. Fully isn't unlocked. Isn't unlocked yet. Oh, nice to be a special weapon here. A wanderer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit earlier, but I don't think I'll have time to finish any other uh, quests. But they, I hope they take a little while to release the others because. Oh, there's another one. Because I can't play that often to, to complete quests and then they keep piling up. But alright. I gotta figure out what I'm going to play tomorrow.